Pilaris has called for Indianizing the current uh, system of education. Uh, an article in the organizer, the RSS mouthpiece, said the current education system has led to loss of uh, the treasure and techniques of the Indian knowledge as well as creation and application. The article called for the system to be improved via Indianization. According to the article, the British education was designed to uproot Indians from the traditional knowledge system, saying the system was created to run state machinery as per their convenience. It adds, and we quote, the corollary of this British legacy is that we lost the treasure and techniques of our knowledge, creation and application. The editorial says the current Indian education system is neither here nor there, as a result of which graduates are not productive in the applied world and high-performing professionals are socially and morally disconnected. RSS slams educationist Ramachandra Guha and Romila Thapa, who it says talk about change but benefited from the state school. There is an emphasis on formal education. We need to have to, to rejuvenate our uh, traditional knowledge system. Okay. We have to treasure of uh, traditional knowledge system and Western countries recognize that. It is we who, who don't recognize. It is uh, 60 years of the of the secularist regime. They have ignored the Indian system of knowledge mm. and the uh, Indian thinkers and they, they have projected the, uh, a few thinkers in history books and that, that is the reason that new, new generation don't know about the real history of India. No, very clearly, RSS seems to have had a problem with the Indian education system forever and forever. The only uh, productive ideology that they understand is the ideology that they wish to promote in this country. And Ms. Mithi Irani has been obliging the RSS by following the roadmap that has been set by RSS. And it is extremely unfortunate that uh, Instead of looking at a progressive uh, education, they're trying to digress it into an education that they would wish to promote, an uh, education that they would wish to see such on the people of this country and the students of this country. If promoting a legacy of the country and culture of the uh, country is a regressive system, then I would like to be a regressive. And I, I would suggest Pranka Chaturvedi to go through Dharmpal Ji. Uh, uh, does she know Dharmpal? Who is Dharmpal? He had worked a lot of things how we could, could decolonize our mind and our knowledge system, number one. And she should read also Jawaharlal Nehru's Sanskriti ke charatya, the, and so Jawaharlal Nehru's discovery of India, Bharat ki khoj. She should read that. And Jawaharlal Nehru emphasized how to decolonize Indian mind. And RSS doing the same thing with Dharmpal advocated, with Mahatma Gandhi did, with Swami Vivekanand did. And we are, we, are, we are for the Indian system of education. We are not for the British system of education. It should be India-oriented, India-centric. What is wrong with the Congress? Congress wants, Congress sees India through the British eyes and the Europeans, they are European-centric. We don't want to be European-centric. We, we, should, we should be open to the, all over the world, but we should have our own education system. You know what Mr. Sinha happens to be saying that Indian culture, when he talks about Indian culture, it sounds so hypocritical because the culture that they seem to understand is the culture of ghar wapsi and love jihad. And uh, the culture, yes, we are all proud of our Indian culture. On one side, when you talk about uh, we are one world, Vasu Deve Kutum, uh, world being one family, and on the other hand, you talk about Indianizing everything, having a mindset which is the RSS mindset, the satanization of education is what we've been talking about. It's a mask when they talk about Indian culture, what they're trying to push forward, what they're trying to promote, and what we have seen uh, happening in the past one year. Are uh, people being promoted from uh, people that are promoted are be, have been following the RSS ideology okay. and this, this seems to continue. It is a mask that they are using, Indian culture is a mask that they are using to push forward their agenda. Are the opposition parties embarrassed by the fact that India was a great destination of knowledge and learning for thousands of years? Did not India contribute tremendously to mathematics, science and other fields? Did not people travel to India to gain access to this knowledge? The concept of zero, Arya, but there is so much that could be said. Why are the, these people feeling embarrassed that India should recognize its own achievements of the past? Why shouldn't Indian students know about all this and learn from them, Vedic, mathematics and other things? This has nothing to do with politics. This has nothing to do with ideology. RSS has forgotten. RSS has never Indianization of the Indian education of the वो बैक डोर से शिक्षा का केसरिया करण करना चाहती है उसका सांप्रदायिक करण करना चाहती है चूंकि ये बात वो खुलकर बोल नहीं सकती इसलिए वो बार बार भारतीय करण की बात करती है हकीकत ये है कि जिस तरीके से पिछले दिनों इस सरकार के आने के बाद से शिक्षा के साथ एक तरीके से कहें अत्याचार किया गया है 
और जिस तरीके से ऐसे ऐसे लोगों को बड़ी बड़ी संस्थाओं पर बैठाया गया है जिनका शिक्षा से कोई लेना देना नहीं है वो विशुद्ध तौर पर शिक्षा का सांप्रदायिकरण कर रहे हैं